Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play, or Let's Try, for uh, XCOM Chimera Squad. We're continuing our impossible run. We did knock off the uh, the Hardcore and the uh, Iron Man for now. Uh, we might add those in, you know, in the next playthrough, but I want to get through at least once, but I did want to leave it on, on impossible, uh, because I want the challenge. So, here we go. Uh, we do have uh, Zephyr here. She has a wound, unfortunately, some scarring, so we probably are going to have to go get her healed up. It's pretty tough scarring, honestly. Um, do we have training, right? Put Zephyr in here. Does that tell us what she can do? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Get rid of, uh, re remove her weaken. That, that would be really good for us. Basic conditioning actually increased her HP by two. Uh, interestingly enough, I mean, this one's three and this one's two. So obviously we want to do toughness, but it would be kind of funny if, if they were like identical and it wouldn't matter really at that point, which one we did. We'd almost, honestly, if they were identical, I would do basic conditioning instead of toughness just because I would want to leave, like, it would be kind of cool to leave the scar as like a, you know, a thing, but, um, but obviously the weakened is a, is a bit worse than what we would gain from the base. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change your assignment. Definitely want her to get back to fighting chops or fighting we stance. Gray Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in city 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. So yeah, we have to deal with some abductions. That's, that's the ones where we don't get the cool breaches. Um, make sure Patrick gets put in here. Um, we have a little bit of credits, not much. We've got a little bit of intel. Again, not much. Um, so what do we got here? We got... Let's check Shadow these out real quick. I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalis ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. 31 PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working with you. Uh, okay, so it's going to be difficult. We do get a meta patch breach item. Oh, that sounds good. That's very useful. I'm assuming that's something that will heal us on a breach. Uh, so that would be that would be pretty useful. Uh, this one looks like this gets us 45 intel. Uh, this one we can't do yet, I don't think. Uh, it's going to take us five days. And then this one... Um, 30 credits, and what's this other thing? Oh, two days towards Operation Reveal. What's Operation Reveal? Is that this thing? No. I actually don't know what Operation Reveal is. I'll be honest. Uh, these are all difficult, though. Yeah, this isn't Operation Reveal, is it? I actually don't know what that is. Um, is that one of these things? Active Operation? <laughs> Maybe. I, st I might. I still think I want kind of want this uh, down here. Although the 45 Intel uh, would allow us to do a lot more of the field teams. It's full. It's tough. I don't know. I don't, I'm almost leaning towards the 45 Intel. It's less exciting. No, no, if we get, the sooner we get the breach item, the cooler, right? I mean, the sooner we get this, the better it's going to be. So let's get this. Hostile forces may attempt to guard a mission critical device that needs to be stopped. Destroy the device in question when authorized. Keep your distance if you can. Your distance if you can, okay. Um, we still need the med kit. I guess I'll give you the med kit. Um, oh, we need to make items available. Thank you. Wait, didn't we have, oh, we just had a breach in charge. Oh, right. Oh, there's a med kit. Knew that. Um, I'll give you the breach of charge then. That's going to be okay. And do I want to give her the med kit after all? No, I mean, he's got the most health. I think the guy with the most health having the med kit is most likely to, you know, be okay. We're only going to have one projected encounter. Only one breaching option. It's a keypad door. Um, so, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I like the ones with multiple breaching encounters. They're fun. Cool. Mostly because it gives us a extra chance of freak shots. Up on the target device. Breach mode. All right. Keypad door. First unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Ouch. Enemies deal minus one less damage during the breach. So that's good for us. But a, ouch. Okay. 
I think Cherub does the least damage. So we'll send him first. And then we'll send... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter at that point, I think. Uh, we'll just send him. Uh, I might want... I might want Terminal a little bit earlier in the, the rounds. Okay, let's go with this. Couple of little robot dudes. Uh, what are they called? I actually forget what they're called. It's been too long since I played XCOM 2. All right. Wait. Why is it even? I just said his first first one through his weapons disabled. Did I misunderstand what it was saying? Probably. It sounds like me. There's a guy up on the rafters. That's not going to be easy to get to. Uh, we're probably not going to deal with. I'd rather not deal with the, the surprise guys. I'd rather deal with this aggressive boy over here. 59% though. Not a good shot. I think we got to take the 100%. I don't get the... Is it disabled after the breach then? Maybe that's what it is. Alright, uh, let's finish this guy off. Um, just be done with him. One less guy we have to worry about. I mean, I'd rather take out the surprise guy, but... Not the surprise guy, the uh, aggressive guy, but I just feel like we have to deal with some of these other ones. Have a better chance of, of actually doing some damage. See, none of these guys have a good chance against that other one. Finish off the Trooper. I mean, it's leaving this aggressive guy up. Maybe that's a mistake. Alright, so... Ouch. That is some big damage. There's a couple more surprise guys deeper in there. There's a lot of guys in this one. Wow. Oh, man. I'm out. So he's disabled. Uh, but I guess that just means he's uh, he needs to reload. Okay. Now let's... Fine. Um, we can also flashbang. Might not be a bad idea early in this. Um, big is the flash. Not big enough for everybody. Uh, I mean, I could do this guy because he's next. I also just get two of these guys. Well, add her up there. It was pretty early. I mean, it feels like two guys better than one, and we can just focus on the other two, but that is going to give this guy a free shot. Um, okay, let's reload first. We should still be able to throw the, throw the flashbang. I just want to see what his odds are against this guy. I uh, see. So I've said 100% for a second there, but that was just for other reasons. Uh, taking out that thing would at least that guy. I'm like, I'm almost thinking I'm gonna have to kinetic shield myself because I'm pretty weak at the moment, and or team up somebody pretty early in this encounter. We are gonna get some reinforcements imminently. Not good. Um, that Legionnaire is going to be trouble. Alright, I'm going to connect show myself. Um, I just feel like I'm in danger right now. Traveling. going to give this guy a free shot, unfortunately, but... Consume the shield? Yeah, he did. Okay, so he did take a shot against me, which is exactly what I expected. Um, so now this adder up here is going to get a shot. Also, blow up some of these barrels. Oh, God, I'm not going to blow up the barrel right in front of me. That sounds like a bad idea. Oh, destroy the pylon. Just, oh, see, I misunderstood that. Okay. Um... Yeah, we definitely want to stop reinforcements then. Grabbing a ball and he'll help me here. I'm almost tempted to do the team up just to get another person a shot here so we can try and get rid of this thing quick and in a hurry. We have enough shots here to be able to get it taken out though, I think. Even without the team up. Reinforcements will come at the end of the round if we don't destroy this thing. I think we have to destroy this thing. And some shots against it. We're going to take some shots, but it's really going to help us out in the long run, I think. Oh, I just realized I'm hiding behind a barrel of explosives. Really bad idea. Ouch. Also, not a great idea. Let that guy die. Um, okay, you're going to have to heal him. And she's going to have to hopefully take out the pylon. How much damage? See, y'all got y'all. Actually, we may need both of y'all though. Is the problem? We got to get the heal on this guy. Need a little help? 
I should have flashbang, I guess. Just to keep these guys from coming in at all. I was I, I had I had I realized that the reinforcements could be stopped, I think I would have flashbanged. Um but I can't take the shot here still, which I still feel like is the right idea. We gotta stop the reinforcements and then we can deal with what's left. We give him a chance to fire, unfortunately. Miss. Gonna be on Overwatch. Uh, and then she's just gonna finish this thing off. Got to. Uh, she can jolt somebody. Which... Oh, it's increased against robotic enemies. We don't have any robotic enemies right now. Yeah, I mean, she's gotta stop the reinforce. We're about to get him, so... I think that's just... is what happens. And then hopefully we can deal with the rest of this mess. Um, it's going to hurt. Especially if he blows up the bomb. Another miss. That's good. They are still grouped together. That's kind of in our favor to some degree. Um, Alright, i got to deal with this adder smack dab in front of me. This guy's going to be free to do something, unfortunately. But I might team up now, actually. Because I need to get somebody above that can deal with this legionnaire. Or help deal with the legionnaire. Um, also flashbang with you and let somebody else deal with the adder. If I do the team up, that might work. Yeah, that might work actually okay. Leaves the legionnaire free though, is the problem. Unless I flashbang him, which I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, these guys could take some damage if I blow that thing up. So that would be a good move. I want to get a shot against that before they have a chance to move. So that's 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 for sure. So do I flashbang the legionnaire? Um, gives his turn, gives this guy a chance to do something against the adder or blow that thing up, and then gives her a chance to do something as well. Yeah, I think that might be the right move. Flashbang you. Wish I could get over there enough to get everybody, but we're gonna flashbang the legionnaire. Hopefully, that I'm assuming that skips his turn. Flash going out. One hell of a distraction. Oh, I still get to shoot. Duh. I guess that makes sense, I guess, but I hadn't thought about it. Um, I mean, if we can knock out this adder, oh, we're not going to be able to do enough damage to the adder. I mean, there's a slight chance of crit. Can we charge bash him? How much does charge bash do? Only four. Um, does do a damage in a cone behind it, but that's not really helpful to us right this second. Uh, I could team up somebody still. I could team up her. Actually, not a bad idea. So far down the list. Alright, so we have a couple shots here. We have a couple chances here. Alright, I think I'm still going to take this. There's a chance that we get the crit, and we can finish him off. And if we don't, we'll, we'll adjust. Okay, we didn't get the crit, fortunately. Um, I actually don't remember what Disorient does, to be honest. So, can I target you and see what the Disorient does? Details. We had details. No, unfortunately. Um, so, how do I want to deal with this mess? I mean, Claymore is going to be able to act before... Uh, I guess I can just move you up here, maybe, and get a shot against the adder, right? Or I could actually come over here and subdue him. Uh, I'm not really getting in a good hover position is the problem. Yeah, none of these have good cover. That doesn't really help us out quite as much. Uh, I can jolt him. That means I can get him from here. And not have to move because I'm actually in some cover at least. That's probably the best bet. Guarantee the the kill. A thousand cuts. Okay, that works. I don't again. I don't remember what disorient does. I don't know if it just means he's harder to shoot or he like has lower hit chance. Apparently not low enough hit chance because he still got a crit off. I don't remember what disorient does. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, you need to reload really. Uh, I really don't want you to be, on, be behind this, uh, so that's unfortunate. But I do want to get the explosion off over here. 
shrapnel bomb, but I don't have a way to to explode it. So let's take the reload. I mean, if they blow this thing up, this guy's gonna take some serious damage, right? Let's take the reload. We gotta take the reload. Not having ammo is really bad. And I think we are gonna blow this thing up because it's gonna hit two of them. I think it only does like three or four damage though, so. Yeah, it looks like it's three. Uh, well, this the gun's gonna do three damage. I don't know how much the explosion's gonna do. Uh, only two damage, but it did shred armor, which is pretty awesome. Got safeguard. Get in a better position to shoot that guy. Should we over here? I think that gives us a slightly better position. That gives them both actions before she can do anything. I'm wondering if I need to heal her over here. Let's go for the... Let's go for the... Go over here. If, if, if we don't get a good shot, then we will heal her up. It's a pretty good shot. I mean, it has to roll max, though, to kill him. Anyway, I don't know if we can guarantee that rolls max. I think we have to heal. But don't... Unless they both go for the same guy... Which is possible, but that's also possible if they even, even if they, like, what if I miss or something? I think we have to go for the heal on Patrick. It's, uh, definitely low, low enough that she's within kill range or knockout range, I guess. There's no actual deaths initially. It's going to give these guys a chance to move, unfortunately. Disabling target weapon. Uh, okay. Miss. That's fine. And I'm okay with the disable, I guess. Overwatch. Yeah, I knew he was going to do the blow up. Okay. That's not... So Claymore is exposed right now, which you want to deal with it near then as quickly as possible. Uh, I can move over here. I don't know if that's going to give me a great shot. Dash up there. Also just charge bash him somehow. We will have... Everybody's going to get a chance before these other two guys. So if I get out of position um, of these other two guys, it's going to be okay. Although we do have an overwatch we've got to deal with. That is a thing. i just take a shot against this guy chance I get a crit. Leaves that guy open, which is the problem, though. I really need to deal with this guy there. Really causing me some problems. I think I'm just going to have to risk the uh, overwatch and try and, like, sneak over here. Try to get a better shot against the lead there. I mean, this doesn't give me a flanking shot, though. That's the problem. Do I just assume that I'm going to be in a good position to kill these guys? Um... If I can just kind of be out of position even. I think I have to. I want to charge bash. Four damage. Just by shot in be three to four damage. So this is at least a guaranteed four damage. Alright, let's let's charge him. Charge bash him. Do some good damage to him. Let me try again. And um, give her a chance to do something. She needs to move up to be in a flanking spot, though. And okay, so now it looks like she's going to be the one that takes the overwatch because the other guy did not trigger it. Over here, am I flanking him? I mean, obviously, I definitely get the overwatch shot, but I could have enough health for that. And she's already wounded, so it's not like it's going to matter if she takes a little bit of a wound here. Yeah, let's move her. Let's just, just trigger the overwatch. We didn't get the overwatch. Weird. I don't know. I guess he's still, I guess he's still buying half cover. Uh, We can jolt him then. All right. Jolt does four damage. Or do I want to jolt one of these other guys that are like... No, I got to jolt this guy. Because he's, uh, he's next in line. Jolting the target. Which I could have jolted from back there, but that's okay. Now watch the Overwatch trigger now. I mean, I definitely want a med kit. Heal him or something. Have my grenade, my shrapnel bomb. I'm going to move him behind heavy cover. Or do I heal him first just in case? Does not cost an action to activate. Perfect. All right, so we'll take the heal. Got some 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 stuff. So I should still have my two actions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
I mean, I think I grab no bomb or do something, move somebody. Maybe move him over here to get an easy shot against that guy. Let her take care of the final guy somehow. Traversing. 84%. I mean, if it rose even medium, it's gonna it's gonna kill him. There we go. All right, so it's just down to her. We got this guy over here. Not going to be easy to deal with, to be perfectly honest, from where we're at. Um, I mean, I can move up a little bit and try and do some overwatching in case he tries to move. Probably the right move. Probably going to try and flank us, to be honest. I mean, I would if I was him. Overwatch. Let's see if we can get the overwatch this way. Both sides of where he's hiding. In one shot, he's not gonna be able to like. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill anybody. He might. I mean, I, if he does, it'd be a really, really big crit. Tracking target weapon. Oh, he's still gonna do the disabling shots. Maybe that's all he does. Really not. Uh, okay, so we're good. Um, kind of just want to ignore. I guess I can give somebody protection. Yeah, let's do that. We'll give her protection since she is next. And then we'll just let her come up, go up and angles. subdue him. So that way she doesn't have to worry about the overwatch at all. Uh, just... I mean... Well, no, we're going to try and subdue him. So, whatever, just overwatch or something. Keeping a lookout. And then we'll let her move up and subdue. Still didn't trigger overwatch. It's weird. Cool. Well, that's done. And... I'm not sure what happened. That was weird. Lightly wounded, wounded, wounded. That's unfortunate, but still excellent. So, one capture enemies, there's a 20% chance to earn 20 intel. Yeah, we definitely want to try and capture more guys. That's for sure. Get that get that 20 intel every chance we can get. At least capture three guys, so we have a, like, a greater than 50% chance of getting it. Hey, we did get the 20 intel, though. Nice. Get a little bit of unrest raise, which is kind of expected. Uh, assembly completed Android personnel, and we got our meta patch. Great. Reports confirm significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, Reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Results can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe, so there's no better way than doing just that. Cool. All right. I think that was a relatively good mission. I mean, these are impossible missions. It's going to be hard to keep people from taking some damage, at least. Uh, we do have some promotions. We'll take care of that next time, though. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll take care of the promotions, uh, and we'll get ready for our next mission. I do appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.